call you want to call the police on them for having a barbecue on a Sunday. You I feel free! Back off! I'm going to tell them there's an African American man threatening my life. Walk in and do a little work and be a little more and be a little more professional. Yeah. 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 Are you? There's a nun. There's a number. Oh my god. Yeah. Right. What's your license plate number? I got you, girl. I got a non-emergency number. I'm calling for this. That what? That I. Uh, yes. I'm so sorry. I got diabetes and my blood sugar's oh, low. Oh, that's a good, ex good excuse, ma'am. Matter of fact, I am calling the 9800 number. Wow. We're spilling over that I got diabetes and my blood sugar's low. Well, how do I dissect this? Let me first start by saying we highlight Karens because Karens are dangerous. As you can see, this Karen decided to engage in destruction of property. Now remember, right before she did this engagement, right before she committed this criminal act, she said, you all need to be professional while I tear this damn store up, okay? Now remember, that's your pretext, right? So she has enough energy to yell, scream, curse, tear up the store. But this is all because her sugar is low. Well, I actually have people in my family, members of my family with diabetes, and it's a serious disease. I have an uncle who has to take multiple shots a day in order to live. When his sugar gets low, he gets very weak. He can't do all of that, he can barely move. So she's lying, okay? Jackson, your thoughts? Yeah, I love how as she just, you know, as you pointed out, I have people in my family who have diabetes as well. And as you pointed out, when your sugar's low, you don't have energy and you can't yeah. move. And she's just destroying everything. Like my my diabetes is acting up. You know what I'm saying? Like, but more, you know, more seriously, I think this really just shows that many, many Americans are not doing well mentally, including those among us who seem to be doing just fine, who are high functioning professionals in various fields, high functioning family members, you know, who may be dealing with high levels of stress, anxiety, depression. A lot of that being brought on by the socioeconomic culture that we live under, the umbrella that we live under, that doesn't really give us any proper time to breathe or reflect on life in any meaningful way as we aimlessly strive for greater heights, as we aimlessly strive to just have more and more and more. You know, just think about like just products in, in America. Think about how much money Apple makes and how frequently the products break. And you know, just a lot of the pressures of society just really weigh down on people in ways that uh, impact us more greatly than we may realize. But uh, yeah. you know, that, that was just something that really stuck out to me that- I got you, brother. You know, I just think this will. is a regular ass Karen, brother. That's that's what I believe. That, that's just my assessment. So. <laughs> my assessment is not as uh, articulate as yours. Uh, definitely not as deep, but I think it's more accurate. This is just a yeah. regular ass Karen.